into the 21st century. Nothing is impossible. I like exploring things and venting. Um, I would like to go up there find out what's really up there. I would like to be an astronaut. I like to design rockets. Hey, those specialists. I'd be a ground control officer. The thing that my mom can't understand is I'm terrified of heights, but I want to be an astronaut. There's so many things I'd love to do. I would explore, I'd look for everything. I would try to start a farm. Millions of other galaxies that you might be able to live in. It's the unknown. Anything's possible. You may be able to cure certain diseases. Play Mars and dance on it. Play basketball, but you can still be short. Because then you could like fly up in the air. It's all in the US. <laughs> Hit the ball, you get a home run every time. There are a lot of things that can benefit mankind that we because of science, we simply cannot do on Earth. It's such a big universe, and it's kind of strange to think that just this one tiny planet was chosen to have life on it. I hear they're finding new planets or moons, and they're finding out more about how stars are working, and it makes me feel like it's trying to tell me something. What's it trying to tell you? That you belong up there with them. The Apollo program ended. 1972, but our journey into space is just beginning. I'm Neil Armstrong. The future of space travel is being written right now in the dreams and imaginations of a new generation. Perhaps that's the greatest legacy of Apollo. It shows our children and grandchildren that courage, imagination, and the will to explore, no dream is impossible.